Hi guys, so I want to show you how I paint my baby nursery. This is the before, as you can see, and pretty much this is the after. So I want to show you how the process went and so you can learn from me, <laughs> from my mistakes <laughs> and everything um, and the good things. If you learn something, awesome. Okay, so the first thing is make sure you cover all the way to the floor. I didn't. I kind of put a tape on just the baseboard on the top part. And as you can see, it just over in the bottom part. So it's easy to fix, but that's something, you know, you can avoid. Next thing, I use gold leaves to kind of do some shape in the sun, which I didn't like. And let me tell you, I covered those leaves like six times and it's still you can see them through. So yeah <laughs> so make sure if you're gonna use any kind of texture that you really really sure that's the look you're gonna go to so you're not gonna end up like me with like a shadow underneath which eventually i will fix <laughs> So this is how I got prepped for the painting. I got, you know, any clothes that we don't care to get paint in. I cover my hair just in case I got some paint <laughs> falling on. And then a mask. And then I also have a cup of water and a, just a towel and open windows and open the room as much as you can and the best lighting that you can get. That will be really, really helpful. And pretty much the first thing, uh, we just want to make sure we don't have any nails or anything in the wall because you will show it through the paint. <laughs> Trust me. And then another thing is just make sure um, there's no dust or spider whips or anything like that because you will get in the paint. Um, and then another thing, of course, you're going to want to cover all, all the outlets and connections. Um, cover them or remove them in my case it's just gonna be part of the look so I'm just gonna leave them in and we move on <laughs> um, then the next thing I pretty much did I covered the baseboard that's the part I was telling you earlier that I didn't cover all the way down just the top part and as some sprinkles or splash from the paint came in the bottom part uh, which is easy to fix I mean we can just have to you know paint the whole bottom uh, board again but um, if you don't want to go through all that just make sure you cover all the way to the floor that'll be really really helpful Okay, so here pretty much I just bought a kit it comes with a brush and a small roller um, I pretty much the first thing I want to do make sure first 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 mix mix really really well the paint um, it, the colors will settle a little bit so uh, just make sure it's really really mixed and then uh, first thing is just I'm gonna cut the borders of the whole you know wall that I'm gonna paint so that way when I decided to roll the big roller it's just much easier I don't have to be so careful with the walls next to each other since I'm not gonna paint the whole room it's just like a, I don't know like just like a what do you call I axes I I forgot the word <laughs> but pretty much it's just the frame that I'm doing um, and I don't want to paint the whole wall so pretty much I'm just gonna cut the borders and then i'm just gonna go later on with the roller and it will be just much easier i don't have to be so careful in the border so that's the first thing i did which this process was three times because for some reason i don't know the paint was not good <laughs> it was just not good and i hope you don't have to go through the same trouble that i did but it did took me three coats in order to um you know be the color that i wanted it was always see-through and and everything so make sure you spend the extra money or spend the extra time to go to a good store that they actually gonna make sure you're getting a good deal and a good paint because it's worth it at the end um so here i uh, like i was telling you earlier and i just bought a roller and it came with extension everything that you see here it came all in the kit which it was wonderful it was not the best quality as extension comes um it was a little bit loose but you know hey it's just one time painting it will do the job it will be perfect so that um that's what i used to roll the the whole wall 
and yeah and so yeah so it's so much easier if you just cut the edges first and then you roll after it will be really really helpful for you uh to not be you know super careful to just not pass into the size and things like that um and yes i'm really messy <laughs> please excuse me all you uh really professional painters <laughs> but yeah i'm a messy i'm a messy person when it comes to all these things <laughs> but here it is all roll 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 through the wall just a little bit of break you know mama gotta eat <laughs> it's a little break in here and then pretty much this is how it looked like um it's a little bit wet uh i think this is the third coat uh, i believe so um this is how it looks like now so you you don't see the blue underneath anymore thank god <laughs> um but yeah it did take me like three coats quotes uh of paint so yeah, not fun. <laughs> but here it is, the final look of uh, the paint. And then I let it dry. And then uh, we're going to do the circle for the sun. So as you can see, I just put a little bit of tape. And um, just, you know, just you can do it elastic or any, um, any thread. And then you're going to just go with your pencil. You're going to roll the, uh, the thread in the pencil. And then you're just going to do a circle. Um... Yeah, it's, it's pretty easy and I would say this is the most accurate circle you can get. And then you just go ahead and have fun and do the fun part, which is to paint with colors. <laughs> so pretty much I just, again, did the border first and then um, you color the, the, the middle of the circle. Of course, you don't have to do it with a brush, it would take you longer like what it did to me. So you can do a small roller. Uh, for the center part, it will be much easier, but you know, just I'm not a painter, so <laughs> please learn from my mistakes, and hopefully <laughs> you can just save so much time on yourself.
Ta da! All done! And I saved some of the paint because I mix uh, the paint, this color, I mix it, so I save it. And of course, we're not perfect, so as you can see, I have leftovers of the pencil, but it's easy fix. Don't worry if you have that. Um, so then we're gonna just leave it those little touch ups at the end, and then we can just fix it later. Um, here I'm freehanding doing this project so i kind of went with the flow like to say <laughs> and kind of like you know put mountains here and there i put a little bit of tape just to think where i wanted the highest point but um i kind of did it freehanded so if you are more precise um a little bit of tape will guide you to where you want the ups and downs but for me i just gonna go i just gonna went with the flow and Hope for the best. <laughs> and then the, the next thing, um, so in here I'm doing the border first. And then after I have the borders of the mountains, I go with a roller and go into the middle. That way you just move faster. Like I told you, I learned from the sun with a brush, it would take you forever. <laughs> and um, not only that, but it give you a little kind of texture, um, like um, strips in it. So with the roller, it's, it's much easier. And it will not leave you that so you first gonna do the border of the mountains and then after you've done that then you go with your roller and just roll all over again i have to do two quotes for i think two or three can't remember but more than one for sure to completely do the full color so please make sure you get a really really good quality paint um so you just save time and you don't have to do what i went through but yeah pretty much this is this is how i did the mountains and and then you just do the same thing with each color which um this is kind of like the ending of the yellow and now here i'm doing the kind of like the brownish um again you just do the border and then you just roll um with a mini roller that came in the kit and yeah and the, and you let it dry and once it's, it's dry you go ahead with the um the third or the fourth color mountains that you want to do so that way uh, they're mixing each other so you just have to let it dry a little bit and then go ahead and do the next one time to celebrate celebrate that accomplishment <laughs> oh wow i couldn't believe i actually finished it it took me a full day but we did it we did it and i cannot be more happier i love the look and um and then um i'll show you i did a little bit of cactus at the end with the same glass color paint but this is it and you know i love it i love it so much i don't know why um my 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 baby i want to do like a, a theme or like the west kind of like boho desert kind of like um my other son have a mountain too but he's more like a cool mountain kind of like gallenberg and things like that oh, i love to go to gallenberg in tennessee um but this one is gonna be the opposite but it's still mountain so and this is it i hope you like it and help you somehow thank you